since she's here to explain the find some of the financial aspects. This is a presentation of the contract only. We'll have a public meeting later on, but this is nothing more than presenting the contracts for public uh, awareness. After this is done, this afternoon we will put this on the uh, website, on the county website, so everybody can read the contracts. And then we'll advertise for a public meeting where there'll be a place where people can listen to it again and also ask questions. So with that, we'll start with the uh, rear call from Barnes and Thornburg to go into the contract. I think we're going to have uh, Jason Settler go first, if that's okay. Chris, it's fine. Well, it's not. If you click use recommended settings. Associates, and uh, we serve as financial advisor uh, for the county here. And we were asked to uh, look at the numbers uh, that are being proposed uh, to be invested in the county based on this wind farm project and look at what kind of potential impact it would have on the county and taxpayers in the county. And uh, the RES is also asking for a property tax abatement, so we've asked to analyze that and look at uh, how much property taxes they would end up paying. Uh, if the project goes forward, the abatement is uh, accepted, how much uh, property taxes they would save over that time period. So put together this PowerPoint presentation uh, for you to, to look at. Uh, based on the information that we received from the company, uh, they're looking at building a proposed 200 megawatt uh, facility. Uh, the total investment, uh, not including uh, the investment towards the roads, would be about $335 million. If you add in the investment to the roads, uh, building the roads during construction and then after construction, that's another uh, $20 million. Um, but for those purposes, since that, that investment that they're making wouldn't impact uh, as far as the taxes, uh, uh, tax payments, uh, we've excluded that. But the, there would be a $20 million of potential investment to road improvements. What's being proposed right now, and this is subject to change depending on a couple of different things, but they're looking at uh, investing turbines and investment in four different townships, um, Adams Township, Bethlehem, Harrison, and Boone Township. And you can see the estimated cost, or investment investment that they're looking at making in each township. So over $28 million in Adams, $84 million in Bethlehem, $122 million in Harrison, and $100 million in Boone for a total of $335 million that I mentioned before. Now we've taken that investment and then we've calculated what we thought the additional assessed value would be uh, added to the tax base of the, of the county. So taking that investment and uh, looking at the assessed value, um, this is gross assessed value, so before any exemptions or <coughs> that might be granted, 
Uh, you're looking at over $8.4 million in Adams Township, uh, $26 million in Bethlehem, $36.7 million in new assessed value in Harrison, and $30 million in Boone. So a total um, assessment um, that we're looking to be added to uh, the county is a little over $101 million. And uh, Rick will be talking a little bit later about the, uh, that number is going to be used in one of the agreements uh, that we'll be discussing. So again, additional 100, over $100 million of new assessed <coughs> value that could potentially be added to the county. The next page we looked at, based upon that investment, based upon that assessed value, uh, if you were to uh, grant them a tenured uh, property tax abatement, and uh, something that's been preliminary discussed is typically uh, property tax abatement, as you know, property tax abatement is a phasing in of property taxes. Uh, usually the first year is 100%, and then it gradually uh, increases after that. By year 11, the company's paying 100% of the taxes uh, that they were paying based upon their entire assessed value. Here, uh, with preliminary discussions with the company, we're looking at, uh, again, trying to, again, that first year is either 100% abatement, second year is 90% abatement, so the company's only paying zero the first year, only 10% the second year. Uh, looking at getting more incentive, more upfront a benefit to the county, uh, looking at a 55% uh, abatement for 10 years. So 45% of their assessed value we add to the tax base beginning year <coughs> one. So here, looking at the second column, uh, you can see over that 11-year period, if they were not granted a 10-year tax abatement, they'd be paying about $18.5 million in taxes over that 11-year period. So you can see the year one's about $1.7 million, year two, 2.5, and it uh, decreases to about $1.5 million for the next uh, 10 years. Um, that's again with no abatement. And that's just because uh, uh, this equipment is much like manufacturing equipment. It depreciates over time. So about year three or year four, it hits that 30% floor and levels out. Uh, the third column there is what their taxes would be if they were granted a 10-year tax abatement. So you can see over the about 11-year period, they'd be paying about $9 million in property taxes. Uh, year one, $700,000. Uh, year two, about $1.1 million. And then after that, it's about $700,000 a year. And then you can see your year 11, you're back at that $1.5 million. Year 11 is when that uh, tax abatement would expire. And they'd be paying the entire 100% of their taxes. So the savings that, uh, based upon the investment information they've given us and the timing, uh, again, paying by $18.5 million if there's no tax abatement, $9.2 million with the tax abatement. So they're saving about $9 million in taxes over that 10 year period. <coughs> So that's kind of the benefit uh, to the company with the property taxes. We also looked at the estimated benefits of the county with the new assessed value. Uh, there's kind of two benefits uh, to the county. There's certain funds that the county has or the different townships in the county that whenever you add assessed value to the tax base, they actually generate additional revenue. We call those rate-driven funds. And those are mostly your king cap, your king funds. So we can see here, within the various counties, uh, I think all of them have uh, a CUNE fund. Uh, so you can see that with the current revenues, um, they collect about $135,000, for instance, in uh, Cass County CUNE Cap Development Fund. And your CUNE fund, you collect $135,000. With that new assessed value, uh, you collect an additional $10,000 a year in that fund. Uh, this assumes after all the abatement, it's our rule also, by year 11, uh, between the uh, Year one and year 10, you can collect about half that. Um, you can see Adams Township, they have a CUNE fund. Uh, they collect about additional $3,000 a year in that fund. Bethlehem, additional about $4,000. Harrison Township, CUNE Fire Fund, additional $4,700. Bethlehem Township, CUNE Fire, additional $8,000. And then Logansport, um, Cass County Airport, <coughs> additional $3,000 of additional revenue that they could anticipate receiving on a yearly basis. The next slide, the majority of your funds, um, as you know, when you're looking at your budgets, uh, they're, you have your maximum levy, not just, not just the county, but all the different municipalities. So as you get additional assessed value, you're not allowed to generate additional revenue in the majority of funds because you're capped by the state on what you can generate. Um, so your budget that's able to property taxes stay the same. So as you get new assessed value into your tax base, 
what that actually does is decrease tax rates. So it decreases the tax rates you uh, have to implement, decreases the tax rates that the taxpayers have to pay in your account. So we took that $101 million in new assessed value and applied it to all the tax rates uh, in these different taxing districts to kind of uh, estimate what their reduction in tax rate would be and how that would impact a potential taxpayer uh, within these counties uh, for taxing districts. So for instance, first one here is Adams Township, and these are all um, pretty similar um, because they're in uh, um, Caston Schools. Uh, but during uh, the abatement period, you can see the current tax rate for Adams Township was $1.73, 1.7388. During the abatement, we estimate that the tax rate, because of that assessed value, would go down by almost 12 cents. Mm -hmm. So what that means to various taxpayers, if you have a $50,000 gross assessed value house and live in Adams Township, uh, your tax bill would go from $146 to $136, so down by 10 cents. Wow. <laughs> um, after the abatement, uh, with the tax rate, we estimate that going down about 23, almost 24 cents. Um, so the reduction in um, the tax rate, the taxpayer living in Adams Township, the gross assessed value house of 50,000 would go down about $20 a year. Uh, if you had a house with, uh, had a gross assessed value of 82,400, um, your tax bill would go up, down $21 a year <coughs> for 10 years, and after you debate and wears off your 11, it would go down about $42. And you can see we did a $150,000 house. Total impact $65 a year reduction for the first 10 years and about $130 after that. For one acre of land, uh, the decrease uh, is about $1.87 per acre during the abatement and then $3.32 per acre after the abatement. And then we also show the business as well. And in Bethlehem, and really the next three townships, they're all very similar impacts because they're all in the same school district. Um, the school district alone uh, sees about a 17 cent uh, rate reduction after the abatement where it's all. And really, uh, we didn't show every taxing district in the county, they didn't give us a lot of information, but really everyone in the county would benefit a little bit uh, by a reduction of tax rate. Um, just by living in the county, the county alone's tax rates go down by about five cents. Um, but here you'll see the biggest benefit because this is where the majority of the investment is located and it's all in the same school district. But again, everyone in the same school district would see about a 17 cent reduction, I believe. Um, so again, Bethlehem Township is very similar. Harrison Township, again, very similar. A 14 cent rate reduction during the abatement, um, almost 29 cents uh, after the abatement. And then Boone Township, again, similar, 15 cent rate reduction, um, a little over 30 cents after the abatement. So again, depending on the value of the house, $50,000 to $150,000, you can see a $25 annual reduction to almost $170. And then something else that uh, we looked at was uh, RES is, uh, has agreed to give uh, Economic development payment uh, to the county for every megawatt that they have uh, produced. Uh, they've agreed to $25,000 per megawatt. So based upon a $200,000 megawatt facility, that would be an additional $5 million uh, to the county. And what's that being discussed, and we'll get to this more about the agreements, is that be, be paid back to the county over four years. So over that four-year period, you get $1,250,000 each year. Thank you.